let's discuss likelihood ratio so we are going to discuss what is likelihood ratio what is the use of likelihood ratio what distribution does likelihood ratio follows please note there is a particular presentation on MLE versus OLS and if you have understood the equation that is derived there the formula of how you get log likelihood based on the concepts of maximum likelihood estimate the whole presentation on likelihood ratio that you are going to see here is going to be cakewalk so if you have not seen I'll recommend you to read that if you are having doubt you may read it again so what is likelihood ratio likelihood ratio is based on concepts of MLE and for what purpose it is used it is used to test the strength of a variable in a equation so essentially let's say if a particular equation is of the form of like say y i equal to b1 plus b2 x2 b3 x3 and ui so essentially it's a three variable model one is intercept and the other two are x2 and x3 so now if you know there is a doubt that x3 is powerful or not in explaining why i why essentially why in presence of intercept and x2 this particular thing can be tested by likelihood ratio so essentially if null hypothesis is x3 is having no impact when intercept and x2 is already there and say alternate hypothesis is x3 is having impact even in presence of intercept and null and x2 then this can be tested by likelihood ratio how let's see that remember the formula that we have derived there in in presentation on MLE versus OLS so log likelihood function gives this particular term now if you see the right hand term it's nothing but the error term it's the observed value and this is nothing but the predicted value so this is the error term and when you are squaring error and summing it up it is as good as what you get in the error term of the OLS only thing is that you know you are dividing by sigma square also that's the only difference now let's assume that when b3 is not 0 so essentially when you are not assuming that b3 is 0 you are not putting a restriction essentially this is called in scientific term as unrestricted log likelihood function so when you are not putting any condition that okay b x3 is 0 or not x3 is having impact or not essentially means b3 is not equal to 0 so this that's how you will get the form the function of the log likelihood unlike unrestricted log likelihood function will take this form when you are b1 b2 and b3 all three together gives you the mean value of the predicted actually gives you the predicted value now let's assume when b3 is 0 please note when we are putting b3 equal to 0 you are putting a restriction so in this scenario the log likelihood function is called restricted log likelihood function and that's how you get the equation just note here b3 is not there now this particular term is nothing but the error term again so now let me ask you this way this error is going to be more or this error is going to be more obviously this error is going to be more why because it's a function it's a property of regression that the moment you keep adding another variable RSS the root residual sum of a square will either remain same or will go down so essentially the error that you will get here will be either lower than this thing or at max equal to this particular value so essentially now because if this error is smaller and when you are subtracting a smaller number with this particular thing which is fixed for in both the equations this unlock unrestricted log likelihood function is bound to be bigger than restricted log likelihood function if you have not understood just read out once again you know if it is 600 if it is 5 let's say if the error is 500 and this error is 600 you are subtracting 300 300 in this case whereas in this case you are subtracting 500 so obviously 
when you are subtracting 500 by 2 250 and here you are subtracting 600 by 2 300 this thing is going to be smaller than this thing by 50 so just keep in mind the log likelihood ratio which is unrestricted log fun likelihood function by restricted log likelihood function just keep in mind we have not taken log here now if you take log both sides log likelihood ratio will be equal to log unrestricted likelihood function minus log restricted likelihood function which essentially means unrestricted unrestricted log likelihood function minus restricted log likelihood function now statistically if the sample size is large 2 into log likelihood ratio this particular thing so essentially 2 into ULLF minus RLF follows chi square distribution with degree of freedom equal to number of restrictions here because you have put just one restriction that b3 is 0 or not so in this case you will be you will be uh, checking against the chi square table of degree of freedom 1 what does it mean if for a given degree of freedom if it is significant then you are better with the unrestricted model so essentially you cannot assume in that case that the coefficient of that particular parameter is 0 so what is the use so it is used to test the the significance of variable when other variable is already present also it can be used to test the significance of whole model itself what does it mean so essentially if you do not take any variable you know are you able to like when you are taking all variables together are you able to reduce explain uh, dependent variable or not so essentially are you able to reduce error or not whereas if at all you would have just taken let's say mean value y bar so essentially a model is better in predicting values than just y bar or not that gets that can also be checked by log uh, that likelihood ratio thank you you may think of subscribe subscribing to this particular channel it will help you it will give you notification when there is new uploads to this particular channel thank you